Uh, in this video I'll be showing you how to get the three thunder gun. Uh, you can get it by completing all the, the challenge podiums around the map. And there are five challenge podiums with three challenge in uh, each of them. Some of them are hard to do uh, and very tricky as well, which um, is why I'm doing this video because I had a lot of like a very hard time doing them all. But um, but I'm gonna be showing you guys how to uh, to do them, all of them. So the first one you wanna start with is gonna be um. It's gonna be all the way back. If you watch any of my any of my other tutorials, you see which way I'm going. You know, like you always go through the frozen crevasse where there is uh, one challenge podium, and that's the first one you want to start with uh, because it's the easiest one to do, uh, in my opinion. So it's gonna be right down here. In mm. uh, in order to start any of these challenges, you're going to need to have. Um, What's it called? Uh, you're gonna have to open up all the way to the top of the lighthouse uh, so that you talk to the hermit. And then you just need to interact with this one. So, uh, this is like, gonna be a full playthrough of it. I'm probably gonna post some timestamps in the comments for you to um, for you to use if you feel like uh, the challenges that I'm doing right now is is like gonna be too easy and you can just do them by yourself. But yeah, like most of the challenges are pretty easy, so it's just gonna like the timestamps I'm gonna be putting in are gonna be. Um, for each challenge, and then you're gonna have to like skip ahead what you want, which of them you want to see out of the three. So, Or the last, but yeah, like some of them, you want to do them pretty early if you can. That's gonna be like for the better, but um, it's like it's not always easy. Like usually, I would have this this entire podium done by round five, and I probably still will, but you know. Once you get like I'm the way that I'm in the the order I'm gonna do all of these challenges is um the one that I find the easiest because I always get them done before round fifteen unless something goes very very wrong. All right, so that's the first one of them. The next one is shatter six frozen zombies. Not that hard. Just make them stand in the icy water. Shatter. Then they're gonna freeze. Just make sure that you don't freeze yourself because it's gonna be uh, very annoying. Shatter. Okay, I'm gonna die here. I'm not gonna die here, apparently. Okay, that was a little sketchy. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, that's gonna be exploding. Okay, that sucks. All right, so that's very annoying, but um, that's just what it is. Okay, just just grab this. The next one, I'm gonna be showing you all the um the tunes uh, at first. So up here you have, I'm pretty sure it's E. You have four notes. He's gonna sing a song, but yeah, he has four notes. And then you have G right there. And then you have A here. And C is gonna be—it's gonna be very hard to see. 
<laughs> pun not intended, but it's gonna be right there. Right, so I'm just gonna go back to check. Oh boy, uh, I'm just gonna go like back to check what it is exactly. Oh boy. Just gonna go back and check what he said to me. Because it can like sometimes it can be pretty harsh to remember. But that's the nice thing is that you can just always go back to him and make him repeat the song. So C A A E G C. So C A E G C C A C A E G C C A E G C Yes, that is correct. Okay. See if I can hit the bell. I cannot because I cannot see it. Pure to just went out. That's not good. There we go. Okay. So like that's why this one is so easy. Oh whoops. Okay. Yeah, like I have um my pat my uh, latest video. Or yeah, I'm just gonna explain. You're gonna get like uh, you're gonna be able to have ten snowballs now instead of only six, which is gonna be very nice for later on. Uh, but basically, just like that's gonna be it. Yeah. Um. Then you have like one challenge done. Then you just wanna uh, you wanna kill your final zombie. Uh, if you haven't gotten the dynamite yet, just uh, get it. Uh, you'll get it from shattering the zombies, the frozen zombies, so, nope, okay, cool, I'm, I almost messed that up, oh, I always messed that up, but you want to build your shield right here, and then you want to start this challenge right here at the lighthouse station, very simple, um, this one is going to, he's going to ask you to collect brains uh, by doing headshots, here I recommend you finding the mystery box unless you have like a weapon that you're like super comfortable with. Um, unless you have like a weapon that you're very safe about. So like I, I do like uh, assault rifles and all that so that's the weapon that I'm safe about. Like the KN or something like that. Just pick whatever weapon you feel like you're gonna get a re-headshot with here. And don't be like don't be ever be afraid to like take hits or anything like that. Just make sure that you don't take too many hits, I guess that's like the most important thing. Uh and by the way, just like an addition to um not zombies. Uh, in addition to uh, everything, because it's kind of relevant. Oh, whoops. Uh, I do all of these in a uh, uncasual. Okay. I don't know. Just gonna wrap this for the extra points. Okay. That uh, leaves me a max, it's nice. Okay. So yeah, I do all of these on casual, uh, just to make it easier. Because you're gonna get the exact same XP from doing a normal and a casual, so... I don't I don't see the point of it, but other people will. So. I, I don't have any like firm opinion about people playing normal and people playing casual and all that. I don't care, that's not my opinion. That matters there. You do what you wanna do, like... Mm. Uh, yeah, a very important thing as well. You can collect brains from uh, from zombie dogs. Very important because as of right now, by the way, like there are two zombie dogs left here, and I have to kill them with headshots if I want to uh, get this one done. And I really do. Uh, it's gonna come from over here. 
Oh yeah, okay. I did it. Okay, cool. So like now that's done. The next one, like I like these ones because or uh, the one this one because it's super easy. It's very similar, there's like not much to it. But the next one is kinda similar as well. I like to stand up here, just in the corner. And just like or uh, or run around. Really just depending on what you want. Or not this corner, sorry, this corner. I like to stay in this corner and just like because then you have your shield you have your shield right in here. Which is gonna be super nice. But yeah, you basically just wanna like kill them, kill the zombies with your shield. You wanna get like 20 kills, and then that's uh, that's done. So we wanna try not to buy too uh, too much shield. Uh, one thing I also like to do is to train them up, just super fast or uh, just a little bit. You don't have to have like a lot five will do. It's just because that one hit is gonna like count us for just as much as uh, ouch. Um, like it's gonna take just as much shield damage. Okay. So, so for instance, like that. Hmm. Yeah, it's like. Okay, so like that's when my shield broke. Okay, that's kind of annoying that it just did right there, but it's okay. So we have the last one. Okay, there we go. All right, next one, kind of annoying. There are a few things to remember, a few things that you can do, a few things that you can't do. Uh, you want to go up to the top, pick or um. pick up a P jar, you cannot jump, you cannot run, and you cannot fall, or else the glass will break. If you're not too focused on my high round strategy, you're just you're just gonna have this door opened, uh, which is gonna make it easier. So you just wanna walk at a casual level all the way through here. You can kill zombies, attack, whatever. You cannot sprint, fall, or jump. So you just want to go into the speech model right here. Empty it. And while you're on the way right here, you want to knife the blue rock. Just to get the... Uh... This is just a little trick, because you might as well... You can do the challenges from the start, or you might as well just get Pagan Punch and all that, since you're probably gonna be able, or gonna use the Thunder Gun for a, big, a bigger purpose than just getting it, you know? So it's, yeah, it's, it's gonna be... It's not very good that I picked that up, but yeah. It doesn't matter. Just need the challenges completed. You're gonna walk all the way. You're gonna do that all these times that you have to do it. It's gonna be a little bit annoying. Especially for me now that I chose to do all or uh, end around like that. It was very stupid. So, the last P jar. Uh, if you have the Cantana, just pull it out. If you did, like, if you in some way managed to get to the situation that I did, just gonna go a lot faster. Okay, cool. So now that's done. You wanna run, run, all, wanna run all the way back to the top. Uh, what you're getting is, I cannot remember entirely. Yeah, you get an extra life. That's great. All right. So what you wanna do now is you wanna make your way all the way back to the bottom here, just somehow, because this is where we're going to be doing the next challenge. 
podium at least. So that's two out of five done for now. This one right here, kind of easy if you do it in an early enough round. And like, I would actually just recommend you training zombies together because the more they are, the easier it is to just hit a headshot, as you can see. Plus, you have, uh, oh, whoops, my game just lagged. Alright, so plus you have uh, 10 snowballs, so you have like a lot more snowballs. Uh, where is it? Did I miss it? Oh boy, I missed it. Oh boy, this is not where it is. Okay. But yeah, like, try and train the zombies together, and it's gonna make it easier for you, for sure. Okay, snowballs right here. Or at least that's what I think. I think it makes it a lot easier. Oh, whoops, that hurt. So only a few left. It's a little annoying. It's kind of annoying. Some of the challenges are kind of annoying to do later. Or do this on this uh, round. But... Okay, there we go. Now it's done. Okay, very nice, and I have a double. I would recommend opening up here. Uh, if you don't have a, that many zombies left, just like I don't have, I don't have a lot of zombies left. Um, because the next one is gonna be the 15 kills. Just pick up the crank parts, uh, get the 100 points from this. Uh, I would recommend you picking up the bowie knife because it's gonna be very useful later uh, for another challenge. So just end the round by knifing. It's gonna be a waste to spend a thousand points, uh, in my opinion, just to kill like seven, six or seven zombies. So just wait for the next round, train the zombies up, it's gonna be very simple. Plus you can, um, if you need your shield, re shield repair or you need to build dynamite, you can go ahead and do that. So. Uh, usually it's like uh, the last challenge in every at every challenge podium is a challenge that does not require zombie kills, which means that you're gonna get like a free. Oops, that was I was not intent to go there. Uh, which just means that you get like uh, a free challenge. Like you can do it without killing too many zombies. So, sometimes might be better for the crowd control, but um. It's like up to you what you want to do in the end. Alright. So I repair my shield. It's going to be very important that you build dynamite before uh, you go on to the next challenge after this because you're going to need the dynamite. Like just train them around right here. It's very simple, simple stuff to do. Oof. Just don't get stuck like I almost got right there. It's a lot of, gonna be a lot of zombies. You're just gonna die. But so you just like wanna move a little bit slow forward here, and then just take the highway around. And there we go. Okay. So you have like one zombie left, at least. It's very important. I'm gonna grab this. And I would definitely recommend you to uh, not have only one zombie left or three or less. Like, just have them being slow is probably the easiest thing to do here. But if you can't have that, then at least make it only one zombie, I guess. Right, so now you want to do the SOS signals. They're very simple in a way. Okay, so that's one then. I think they're kind of simple. So there are going to be some holes that you need to fill in with snowballs. And if you don't know where they're going to be, just throw at them. I'm not going to explain in depth how to know which one I'm missing. Because I hardly even look at it myself like that. I sometimes I just... I'm so sorry. Sometimes it's just throw, but sometimes it's very obvious. Okay, like here it's missing. But like, see if you throw here, 
See there, it's not missing. But that run right there is. It's like, it's, it, I would say it's kind of easy to see where which ones are missing. Okay, so now you want to go in here, down the stairs or down the hole up there. You want to go through this door. Oh, there are some zombies. You can like prog your specialist weapon if you want to. Just jump out to that. Line. There we go. Just go through the water. Very fast. And then get over here. Now that you have the dynamite, you're gonna place the bomb here. It's gonna explode, open the sunken path, which is gonna reveal another uh, Packer Punch location, by the way. And it's going to contain the best spot. Uh, the best spot yeah yeah that's a little like, cool feature you can like shoot the pipes up here and then it's gonna remove the fire it's also a way to get to it so basically now it's just to conserve points I guess all right so now that's done oh boy I need another one okay but yeah like if you want to go that way around, it's gonna be like some points, but it's where um, it's where cool is. Okay, it's they're very speedy these zombies, very aggressive. Okay, but yeah, you can basically end the round, so you would just wanna like open up here because you're gonna go there anyway. So next one, next one, I would say it's kind of simple, and if you do it the way I do it, you're gonna get like a lot of points compared to if you just like do the shooting method. But what you get from this here is very good because you're gonna get you're gonna be able to break free from the ice a lot better or not a lot faster. So instead of using three knives, now you're only going to be using one. It's super nice. Now I would definitely also recommend going up here and like switching or turning on the power. But yeah, as as said, just skip these parts. If if you're only if you're only interested in the challenges, yeah, I would definitely just recommend you just skip these parts and go ahead and see like and watch the challenge that you need to do, to do. Um, I'm gonna be linking like and say where they are like challenge. For instance, the next one is gonna be at Forecastle, so it's gonna be called Channel Channel Challenge Forecastle and stuff like that. Challenge Lighthouse and stuff like that. Right. So you're gonna have to be standing still. What I like to do is just to stand here and knife. You can also do the shooting, but you're gonna get let's say you hit headshots on every of them. You're still gonna get like thirty points more. Okay. Just be sure that it's not a nuke. I just think this is the best way to do it. Uh, and especially like you, you're you gonna have to have a bowie knife obviously okay so right now I'm just uh, oh shoot I thought I had more snowballs but yeah I said if you have um, uh, if you have the bowie knife it's gonna be very simple to do uh, All right. So so far so good. Um, the fastest I've done these challenges ha have been. Um, I'm just gonna shoot them here. It's gonna be easier. So yeah. Next one. It's not just gonna be as easy as that. No, that's not. Oh, shoot, I actually. Never mind. But yeah, like level round 13, that's the fastest I've ever been done with uh, the challenges. Like ever. I've never been done with the challenges before that. The very first time I was done with them in at round 25, I think. It was a very big round. Very thirsty. ASMR. Not so much. <laughs> it 
it's kind of funny like they look like scarecrows but yeah. so as said as i said earlier it would be very nice or it would be a very good idea to like buy the bowie knife and because just because of this you can also if you have the antenna then you can also use that but like all right so next one kind of symbol if you know where the locations are but it can be like kind of hard to remember so I'm just gonna show you uh, there is however one of the ingredients I don't know the exact three location of but perhaps if it's not gonna um, be there with the two of them that I know I'll, I'll show you but yeah so the first one can be right here it's always gonna have to pick up soup ingredients it can be right here or it can be on this counter all right I'm just gonna Kill this frosty boy. Take his stuff so I can make another dynamite. And next one, you want to go to the beach for that. It can be right here. Or it can be over here in the barrels. Alright, I guess I guess we'll see. Alright, so I'll try and search for it as well. Ooh, what was that? Okay, that's just the ice here. It's not there. It's the snowballs. This is very funny because I I am um, I watched the video about it uh, at first because I wasn't 100% certain where it was actually like, gonna be uh, because I didn't understand it understand the challenge at first so like I had to watch it um, but I remember it bugged out for me so I didn't know. Uh, just to be fair, I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing right now. I know what I'm looking for, but I don't know where it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna... Th nah, I don't want to thin out on these zombies, because... Uh, it's kind of hard. Because we're gonna we're going to need them for the later challenge. I'm almost confident that it should be about red here. But it is not. Uh, let me just check one of the other locations. Oh wait, never mind. No, that's snowballs. Okay, yeah. So actually, there's never mind. It's snowballs. So. All right. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I said you can like just skip ahead. I'll just like. It's gonna be uh, just just give me a moment, real quick. Alright, uh, I figured it out. No, I remember putting it in one of my other videos, but yeah, it's gonna be right here. It's a cauliflower. Man, it feels bad. It feels bad to not remember where it actually is, but that's just how it is, I guess. Hopefully you will have more luck. I, have no, I always run that way, it's always so stupid. I have no shield. Right, and you're gonna go all the way back. You wanna go all the way back to the boathouse. And keep in mind, this is going to give you a free from the gun. It's insane, alright. So it can be right here in this barrel. On this right here. Or in here. It should be right here. No, it's right here. Okay, I'm sorry. My uh, my mistake. 
I remembered wrong. I will uh, take that on my back. All right, but yeah. So now I have all the soup ingredients. And what you want to do now is to go this way up, go out here. You basically just want to go all the way back to Fort Castle. Um, just like before doing this, you have you're go you have picked up all the cranks by this time. So if you want to do all like all the ziplines, make them go in place, or and then get the zipline handle, it might be easier to get like back and forth. But like, that's up to you. I feel like this round is almost over. This is not very good. But yeah. I'm not going to be doing that. Or, well, sorry. I am. I am going to be doing that because I will need the supply handle for the very last one. But it's not something I'm going to, like... I'm not going to say where you can find them and all the location and all of that because I already have videos for that. So, all right. It's the first one in place. So... Back to the soup ingredient. You have found them. Now you want to put them in the pot here. You have snowballs. Throw them there, and it's done. You want to go grab this free armor that the zombie is just gonna ignore and be just gonna annoy me. I should not have killed that zombie. It's so bad. Right, no man. Uh, perks are useless. Yeah. So what I always like to do, even though like I have a lot of points, I like to just ignore the perks because unless you have, like the only thing I really could help you would probably be like quick revive, stamina up or victorious tortoise. Uh this is not where I'm supposed to be. Alright so So I don't feel like there is, like, for instance, I didn't really want to change my perks. I didn't think it would be that much of a matter. But yeah. Uh, for the last one, you just want to come up here. Uh, okay, this might just be a good, bad idea. Never mind. But yeah, you want to get the civil and handle thing. Uh, you can check out my other video. Okay. That's done. So what you wanna do now? I said you wanna go back to the Herman. Now that you have uh, placed the supplants uh, in the correct position, you wanna go all the way back to her uh, to Herman in order to get the supplant handle. They're very piggy. Oh. Um. Yeah. Uh, the next one is kind of annoying, uh, in my opinion. I f think it's the mo one of the most annoying ones. It's the second most annoying. It's not the most annoying. Uh, I'll show you what the most annoying one is. Yeah, you want to take the handle, come out here, up to this one, and then you want to go to the facility entrance. Definitely, like one of the places I I hate it because I I never really got here until my first playthrough so yeah you have the dynamite bomb here you want to use it there gonna be super important uh, you wanna have also fix the gearboxes or at least just the one gearbox so that you can uh, like fl fling a lot of zombies uh, of course I haven't done that yet obviously because I'm not that clever so I'm just going to do that but yeah that's gonna be uh, the last we have done four out of five right now so it, it takes some time. In mind, it takes time. I feel like it always just like sort of rips me apart to do this all the time. Because it's so slow. Oh, I killed one there. That was not my intention. Uh, where is it? Oh, yeah, it's right. It's up there. This is a long way. No, this is a quick way around. Never mind. I, I just figured that it was going to be like a super long way around. But I actually just... I just uh, made sense to me that it was it was actually a pretty fast one. Uh, so yeah, you want to grab this gearbox here or the gearbox up to the facility entrance. It, it doesn't matter. Just one of them. She need to fling 15 zombies, so... 
just subline to the beach or wherever. I'm just going to subline to the beach because I'm going to be able to run up here. You are going to need 15 zombies, so it's like all always just hoping that there's like enough. Uh, it's going to be kind of awkward, yeah, because I said this was going to be pre-15 or at least 15. So we'll see. I still have this on the uh, 15. On 15. All right, so we want to place the gearbox here. Just like it's gonna take some time for him to fix it, but it's all about just like training a little bit up here. It's not done with it yet. I can already tell that there's not gonna be enough zombies here. All right, so you can like just hear him zip lining it down to you again, or uh, so pick it up. Okay, that's not, yeah, so like I'm just looking for a mission thing. So, All right, well, when that's done, uh, I would definitely recommend that you have like an entirely new shield. Also, it might just suck because you're it's you're gonna like rely on the shield for a lot of it so you're gonna go all the way back you like I uh, I made a mistake right there you you can take a supply very simple thing to do take a supply and then just go uh, to the sun deck uh, from up there so yeah you want to place the gearbox the flinger is gonna work uh, again magically so that's fine and you can like hear it charging and then you know it's gonna take a little while before things what I like to do is actually to not be there but actually run here like run around in this little area right here like just train them around it's a very small area but in a way it sort of works plus when you're done, you can always just run over here, and then you're ready to fling a lot of uh, zombies with you. There's a. F Ouch. Alright, and yeah, yeah, don't get caught like I am doing right now. That's not gonna help anyone. Just wanna take like a few hits and all that, and just go over here. And then you're just gonna go. Uh, that's 11, okay. Wait, I don't know. It felt like a lot of zombies. I want to see how many is left. I do sure not hope that I just killed the last one. And I do not hope that there are only four left and one of them being a five zombie. Okay, it's just... All right, so I almost forgot again. I just want to show you like the supply to go to the sun deck. It's very simple. It's right here. You just subline to the sun deck from here. And yeah, you basically want to do it all again. Uh, but yeah, we're definitely going to go into round 15. That's for sure. Just want to take that down. Do we have four zombies here? Hopefully. That's enough. Yeah, alright, so that's perfect. Uh, yeah, we want to go into the next one. Or not directly into the next one. We just want to go to facility entrance because, uh, as of now, it doesn't matter. Just kill off the remainder of your zombies if you don't have. If you have, don't have ten zombies, then just like don't bother. It's not gonna like matter. And so, okay. But yeah, there is also like a flinger right here, so. And I do not think that I, I really just do not hope that I have 10 zombies. Is it down here? It is, okay, it's a fire zombie. Can aim for shit, so. 
Okay, that's cool. All right, so uh, you have Temporal Gift, and I would recommend you just not using it until this very moment. But yeah, we are going into round 15 right now, so it's just going to be right on the edge of us doing this. And it's going to be very, I like a word I like to say a lot, clutch. Um, but what you actually want to do, it's going to be very tricky because dogs are going to be spawning in as well, but dogs are pretty relevant. You want to just proc your temporal so that you have it, and then you just want to start training up around here, you know. So training up in this little area. Don't make too big training areas or else you're just gonna waste like a lot of zombies and they're just gonna fall apart anyway, so just train them a little bit around. When you see your opening, take them all the way over here. And then run for it. Right here. Take it take the insta kill. And wait for the challenge to begin. I have very little shield left here. This is gonna be... I think this is gonna be kind of entertaining, so... Okay. Ouch. No one like that. Okay, you're gonna take the zipline and then you're just gonna blast. Alright, so that's pretty good. I did that in one go. If you don't do that in one go, it doesn't matter. You literally just wait for the supply to cool down and then you're just gonna take it up to level four. Uh, I'm just gonna do the exact same, just gonna wait, but I have already done it. It's because you need to go to a facility entrance again, of course. So. Oh, and I missed that, okay, of course I did. Uh, no, wait, I do not have a shield. All right, so I'm just gonna go. Oh yeah, and don't forget um, yeah, to buy a new shield whenever, um, whenever you need one. I feel like this, this is gonna be a very long video, but uh, it's also gonna be a very in-depth one. Uh, because I've always, always felt like it's hard to know what, what do people actually like want type of videos. If you like myself, I would rather just like the short video videos. Like shield power location should only take like uh, maximum of three minutes. I think my own, uh, but because of course it's combined with a uh, golden pack of punch and all that, it's gonna take a longer time. But yeah, this video is just gonna be the length that it's gonna be, and I don't really care what people think about it. Oh shoot! Didn't I like kill the fire zombies? Ooh, perhaps this is gonna be a little bit longer than than the uh, 15. Oh, that's very awkward. I think. Or I feel like that's very. Awkward. If there is no fire zombie left, because if you don't have a fire zombie, then this entire thing you might as well just like forget. All right, I have fire zombie. Everything is not lost yet. Okay, cool. Just this is super important. When you do this wagamole thing, you need a fire zombie. If you don't have a fire zombie, don't do this. Please, I'm begging you. It's not as easy as it sounds. Not even if you're not even if your aim is on point and you have like the newest shield and all that. I would definitely recommend you to do it like me. So what you want to do, and this requires patience, and that is probably also why this video is gonna be like very close to an hour. But you actually need, because fire zombies are so slow, you're gonna take advantage of that. You're gonna need to wait for the fire zombie to come all the way here. And then you wanna run the opposite way around. And then you wanna start the whack-a-mole. You can only do it once, then you have to do the exact same thing again. I would almost say that you could probably just go now and then still make it in time because if as long as it's just the first one um but yeah you, you want to hit that this sh this thing right here then it's going to start and you just like want to hit all of these it's not that hard um but i have also been training a lot not that it's visible so yeah as you can see that's the very first 
Oh, he's not gonna explode. Oh boy. I literally thought he was gonna explode right there. All right. But yeah, so that's the first. As you see, like he was getting kind of close and it's very risky to do something like that. Uh, yeah. So you just want to wait. Like you can do whatever, just like at the time. So just just make sure that you watch, uh, watch him, so that you're not so, that he's not just suddenly gonna blow up in your face because it's gonna be very annoying. All right. So since this is the second, just go. Okay, I think it started. It started. Okay, cool. Um, if you have victorious troll toys, uh, you can also. I would almost say that you can just ignore all of this and just do it. Ugh, I'm so bad at hitting these. Okay, and that's two. And that's two. Okay, cool. So you can like see he's getting really close. Uh, so this time, this time it doesn't matter. If he explodes, he explodes. It doesn't matter. So you just want to do the exact same thing again. Um, but you want to like ignore if he explodes. If he explodes, onto you, you just want to ignore it. It doesn't matter. Because you're gonna have the little time in between the rounds before a zombie spawns and actually gets to you. Plus you have your shield. So like, whenever he comes there, go. Just run. Even if you, like, if you have your specials, just go. Put it away and just f throw the snowball. So now, this is gonna go a little bit faster. It's gonna be very stressful if you don't hit your targets in like a very first go. I, I've already always gotten that experience. And I think especially this one because they're so hard to hit. Uh, but when they like just spawn right like this. And should almost be it, right? Yeah, okay, so that's it. And now I kept my promise. I said round 15, and then you get round 15. This is gonna reduce uh, the half, half the price on traps. So, what you wanna do is you wanna come over here and. Uh, and you want a zip line just to uh, stern. And I think that you can zip a line. Not that it really matters. Somewhere else. Yeah, you just want to get to the lighthouse level 4 again. That's basically it. It's not that important. Uh, how do you? 48 minutes of stream, a 48 minute video of how to get free funding on Twitter Can I like change this title? Yeah, I'll probably like change the title to um to be a full walkthrough because this is gonna be yeah. But he's gonna lower the key to you. Take the key, go to this crate. And uh, receive your three funding gun. It's such a lovely weapon, and just to find out I've done it by round 15, it's very nice. Like it, I think this adds a little bit of excitement to the game that it usually would. I I love it. But yeah, that's basically it on how to do it. Uh, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I know it's been a very long video, but. I myself sometimes actually like to watch these very long videos. Uh, mostly, be I don't want to edit these videos mostly because I'm also doing them on uh, PlayStation 4. But I don't really feel like editing these these kind of videos. Like are gonna add anything. Uh, I just find it 
nice to just play them as they are. Or, yeah. So I really just hope that you guys enjoyed this video and it hasn't been too long. Um, and leave a like, subscribe, and feel free to share the video with other people uh, if you feel like they need to see it. And uh, thank you again so much for watching. Peace out.